All right, in this video, we're going to do a quick health setup and UI display. So let's get started by opening up our player controller, where we're going to put our health. And we'll start at the top. Let's bring this down, enter a few times. And we're going to start with setting up a few things. So first, we're going to put a public integer for max health. So we'll type this in, and then we'll talk about it. So our max health will be 100. We're going to have an integer for our current health. And then in start, we want to go ahead and set our current health to be assigned our max health. And to minimize these for now, I'm going to create a method. So void change health. And we're going to say, um, so whenever we call this function to change our player's health, um, we're using a method here called mathfclamp. And what this is going to do is it's going to clamp, it's like putting a clamp, um, being able to have a minimum and maximum. That way the character's health is not going to go below, say, 0 and above 100 or whatever we set it to. So. We're going to have our value plus the minimum and the maximum. So in this case, you have three parameters. You have the value, and then we have the minimum and maximum. So this would be the amount, oops, the amount of health. And we're going to end up at, we're going to add that uh, to our current health. But next we want a minimum and a maximum. So the minimum is going to be zero, right? Because that would mean our player is dead. And then our maximum, well, we have a variable called max health. And that will set that. Now, what we want to clamp, though, is also going to be, we want to have our current health plus the amount. So there we go. And just to visualize this and check to make sure it's working, um, we can do a de run a debug. We can do our current health variable plus, and we're going to put the forward slash so it'll be current health out of our max health so we can have our current health over max health Oops, we're going to do debug dot log all right so let's break this down right we have our maximum health and this is just storing the maximum amount that our player can have and 
we, we may change these later on, uh, but it's public so another script can change that. Uh, which we may not want and then we have our current health which is private and this is just going to store our current health at any given time so if we lose health we get receive damage or something then maybe we have 50 percent health or something like that that will store that information in our start function which runs at the start of the game we're setting our current health to be our maximum health so we're starting the game with full health, right, 100 in this case. And then in our final part, we have this method or function that will change the character's health. So we've covered the methods like the, the inputs and getting, getting the access right and the start and update functions. And here, this is another one of our own custom methods that has instructions inside of it, but it's not being called right now. So this is not running at all. So the first thing is a void returns nothing. This is because there's no values. It's not returning something, uh, any kind of uh, value. And then inside of the parentheses, we have our parameters. And these are, this is where it'll be a placeholder, essentially. When we call this change health, we can tell it to, hey, change health to the player. Maybe it's negative 20. And then we have our current health. We have this method called mathf.clamp. And this makes sure that, say, if we're 100 health, and you end up getting plus five health, you can't get 105 health because the max health that it will keep it in between zero and our max health, which is 100. Now we need to make a few changes because this change health method, we're gonna to wanna to call this maybe on an enemy or a damage zone, but also on our health collectible. So when we pick up a health item, we want it to add health to our player, and it's going to get this method from the player controller. So in this case, we're going to need the right public in front so that we can be able to access this method from another script. And since we're going to test this out, um, our current health, instead of setting it to our max health, right, for now we can go ahead and set this to, um, say, 70 and then we can put a note here um, so we can remember to to make that change later on but for now we can put it at 70 so that way we're not starting the game with full health We could also, for now, go ahead and get serialized field, and we'll put that in front of our current health so we can see that. And we'll save this and go back over to Unity. And we'll check our player. Now we have our max health and current health. We can go ahead and click play to play test and you'll see it updates our current health goes to 70 and we can check our console here and we're not going to get any messages yet but we'll have that ready now to get that rolling in the UI quickly we'll get that set up here you'll see we have our points set to zero and when we turn off play it just says zero 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 we can fix that as well so we're going to go into our canvas here we have display point text so we can go ahead and change that to say points that way 
before we even click play, it's kind of set up the same just to have it there. Okay, so we're going to need this for our health as as well. So what we can do, let's go ahead and let's go into our script first. Now we have our display point method right here. And we're going to go ahead and create another method called display health. And we need to set up our variable uh, first and to get the location. So we're going to come up here and we can duplicate this. So we have display points and this one will be called uh, health health points let's come down here and we can put in health points dot text because that is the type and we're going to assign it um, for now, what we can do is just do health, so you can see, so, oops, let's do, there we go, so you see right away we get an, an error, let's see, so, See, that's because we don't have a variable for it. We only have current health and health. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write a property. And it's kind of like a method that acts like a variable. And so... The reason why we want this, we want to have greater control over our health. We want this, our, our current health, we want it to be read only. So maybe other scripts um, could access, like, not access, but they could read, like, hey, what is the player's health, right? So in that case, we don't want other scripts to change the health uh, through this, this variable. So here, what we can do is we're going to do public int oops, health. And the other thing that's really neat about this, you notice with when we're defining our variables, right, we end it with a semicolon, whereas here, we're going to end it with um, these curly braces. And we don't have to put this on its own line, but you could kind of see that it would it would look if we, we spaced it out and everything. It would look something like this. So get, so there's only two um, properties here, the get and set. Uh, property of this and get would be read only and set would be write only unless if we called both of them but we're just going to do get and what we want to get is we want to get the current health and be able to return it so we're going to type in return current health and then we'll put a semicolon after that so when we use this variable here health it's going to get whatever our current health is and return it and we could actually shorten this line there's no reason really for it to be stretched out so you can see what that looks like literally can just be right here 
So whenever we use the help variable, it's almost acting like a method where it's going to get our current help and return it. So now, down here for our health, we save this, and we get a little bit of an error, but what we can do is space this out. We're going to go ahead and put a string text health, semicolon, or uh, let's do colon, space. And then we're going to add our health variable to that. So it's taking this string and it's going to add this to that. So in this case, we don't have to add the to string because it's going to automatically do that. But if we had health by itself or another variable by itself, we would have to include the method to string in order for it to work. We can save this. We want to come in here. We can clear our console. Now, on our player, you can see we have our health points display, but it says none, so it can't display our, our health anywhere right now. So we go to our canvas. We're going to take our health points text and we can hover over our scene view and press F. And I'm going to duplicate this now, clicking on it, and then Control D. And we'll go ahead and rename this Health Points Text. Hit Enter, and then W, and we're going to move it down. And here we can go ahead and type in Health. So that's what it's going to look like when we start. I could even delete the zero so you'll see it just has health and then when we start the game it, it puts our health there. That's fine. Okay, so now let's save our scene, control S to save our level, our scene. And then we're going to go to our player and you'll notice our health points now. We're going to click this little circle target. It's a little bit faster sometimes. We can click it, and it gives us a pop-up box. And because it's a text variable, we can only select UI text, which we only have two. So we're going to do health points. We can double-click it, and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and click play. And... Uh-oh. It is not showing up yet. Let's go back to our script. So to test this, right, we could use a debug.log, parentheses, quotations, and... Actually, I think let's just do our health variable. Save this. Let's see if this is running. Click clear. Nothing. So that kind of clues us in. Either this method is not working or we haven't called it anywhere. So we double click it highlights it in blue we can scroll up it looks like we're not even calling this method so what we want to do is in our start maybe after we've set current health <laughs> we'll go ahead and do display health method with parentheses semicolon and let's go ahead and set our current health let's move that control X underneath points so that way, when we're starting, we set our points and our current health, we get our components needed, and then we run our display, the UI. Maybe we should call this display points UI. But anyway, we could always rename it. Get a control S to save. Oh, I forgot to turn off play. Whoopsie. 
turn off play, clear out our warnings, click play. And now you'll see it updates and prints to our debug. So we were able to test it and see it's working now. We'll turn off play and make sure to save our scene and be sure to save your scripts. Now it's time to set up a help pickup and maybe do some particle effects. So check out this next video to set that up. And don't forget to like and subscribe.